Hey everybody, this is Sam at Old Barn Tannery. Uh, we just want to put this short video clip together. We're going to show you folks uh, a day in the life at the Old Barn. Uh, we're going to take you through process procedures uh, from the beginning to the end. You know, everybody knows that a really, really great piece of taxidermy work starts with a wonderful skin. And here at the Old Barn, we're family in operation and we do our very utmost best. We take pride in your hides, what we say. You know, when every hide comes in, whether it's salted, it comes in salt or it comes in frozen, is that we got to get these things logged in. Uh, we don't punch code your, your hides. We actually put an individual locking number that's a, se a sequential locking number on every one of your hides. So at that point, uh, they get logged in per your invoice or whatever work order you sent us. We put those locking tags on there. Uh, and then it goes up to Linda's office and she actually builds you a work order uh, and emails it to you so you confirm that you sent us what you thought you sent us and we confirm that we got what you thought you sent all the absolute security that that is your hide. Now we pull uh, 30 green hides a day and our green team, we get right on. These guys are experienced folks. They know what you guys need as taxidermists. So they take their time, split the eyes, uh, the nose, the lips, turn the ears, and uh, get that thing fleshed down and, and we get her into salt for you. We go through a rehydration process. And when we salt dry, we salt dry everything flint dry. I mean, it is rock hard. That's what we believe sets hair. The next big thing in the process is going through a rehydration bath. We have flint dried your hides right down and they're just as hard as a board. I think that sets hair really well. So four o'clock every evening we build a rehydration bath. Your hides go in there and they soak up over the evening. Usually by nine o'clock, 10 o'clock the next day they're ready to go into acid. From that point we're going into the acid. Uh, we do some different things with our acid. We don't use a formic acid tan. Uh, we, we're more into the citric acid safety acid combination. We believe it's a safer tan and it's way easier on your hide. I think it gives you a, a premier hide. Uh, we're actually, and we do something a little different too, we are in the acid for a full week before it ever gets to our shaving table. From the acid we get into the shaving table. My, my shaver's been with me now for several years and these boys really, really do a great job. But, uh, once we get these things shaved up, they go right back into the acid for another week. Once they've been in the acid for the second week, we go through a neutralization process. We're basically taking that pH from a 1.5 area and bringing it up to like a four and a half, five, so it accepts the tanning oils. From that point, we go in and we put the tanning oil on. It's, we, we use a, an oil that we've worked up with, with uh, one of the big suppliers, and uh, it's basically just a rub-on type oil. We rub it on, it gets turned inside out and sweat it overnight to ensure that it gets into your hide well. We actually give uh, each and every one of your hides a really good bath. We used to just use hair salon shampoos. We come in, we shampoo them up good, uh, put them on the rack, and, and if any blood spots or anything, we try our best to get them as clean as we can. Once we have these things clean, they go to uh, our actual bag and tagging area. And what that basically comes down to is they get turned inside out, they get air dried. I mean, we try to get as much of the liquid off of them as we can. At that point, the boys are actually grooming them. They're going through to see if there's any issues with the hides so we can let you know ahead of time versus you get it out of the bag and find an issue. And uh, we make sure that we bag these things up. We, we fold them really nice so they're all in a bag that goes into the freezer easily. So basically, guys and gals, this is a day at the old barn. Uh, hope you enjoyed.